Hello everyone, Joel Hancock here again, and today is going to be a very special video because I'm going to be reading all about the Ten Commandments. Woo! Yeah, I know, it's super exciting, so yeah, I'm pumped about it. So, um, you can, as you may remember, um, we finished, um, season two of Joel's Bible Days, uh, yesterday, and that is because I'm going to Wyoming today, and I had a little free time, so I decided to record this, and, um, yeah, um, and... You can find uh, information about the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20 and Deuteronomy chapter 5. But anyways, we're going to get into um, reading uh, at the Ten Commandments story. So there's like a little section, part of my Bible that tells all about it. So I'm going to read it to you guys. Yesterday I found it in my Bible while finishing up Exodus and I was like, oh, I want to do a video on it. So I decided to do it. So anyways, let's jump into the Ten Commandments. You can also, yeah, and, and as I said, you can find it in Deuteronomy, and we probably won't be reading that chapter on the non Joel's Valdez because, um, like it tells stories about laws that's that's probably not as interesting, so that aren't like as interesting as other stories of the Bible. But, anyways, let's jump into the Ten Commandments. So, here is the Ten Commandments. If ever anything has been etched in stone, it's the Ten Commandments. After first writing them on human hearts, which is in Romans 2, verse 15, God then gave the commandments to Moses on two tablets of real stone. The Bible says God wrote them down with his own finger, which you can find in Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. And clearly, God is serious about these commandments. He expresses he expects us to keep them perfectly, and they haven't changed over all these thousands of years. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, second paragraph. We often speak of the commandments as being two tablets. The first table, which includes the first four commandments, tells us how we are to love God. And the second table, the last six commandments, describes how we can love other people. In other words, all the all ten commandments really boil down to one word, love. Yeah, that I do agree with that. So, yeah. Uh, think about each of these commandments. As Christians, we want to love God and other people. But in truth, only one person has ever done that perfectly. And after you've read through the commandments, read about him and why we we why he kept them in Timothy in First Timothy one verses twelve to seventeen and John chapter fifteen verses nine to thirteen. It is only when we acknowledge our inability to keep the commandments and trust Jesus who kept them for us that we can begin to truly keep God's commandments are are out of faith and love. Oh, I'll have to get that later. Sorry about that. But anyways, um, here are the first four commandments in, in loving love God. Number one, you shall have no other gods. The one true God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is to be more important to us than anyone or anything else. We are to respect him, love him, and count on him to provide everything we need. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Number two, you shall not make for yourself any idols to worship and trust in other than God himself. The good things in the world are here for us to enjoy, but not to worship. They are meant to point to God, whom we thank for all good things. See Exodus chapter 20, verses 4 to 6 for that. Um, number three, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Because we respect and love God, we are to speak His name only in ways that honor Him, never carelessly, angrily, or dishonestly. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Number 4. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Because we respect and love God, we are to take one day a week to rest and enjoy God. On this day, we eagerly hear and honor His word in church and at home. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11. And those first four were, love God. Now we're moving on to f commandments 5 to 10 in the, in the part where loving, love your neighbor. Number five, honor your mother and f honor your father, father and mother. Our respect and love for God makes us want to love other people. First of all, everyone in positions of authority over us. 
Parents, teachers, government leaders, and other leaders are representatives of God himself. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Number six, you shall not murder. Of course, we must not kill, but we must also not hurt, hate, or be sinfully angry. We need to remember that ab abortion and suicide, too, are sins. And you can find that in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Marriage can be can only be as wonderful as God intends if it is if it is kept pure and lifelong. Therefore, sex is to be only between a husband and wife. And you can find that in Exodus chapter twenty, verse fourteen. Number eight, you shall not steal. We are never to take anything that does not belong to us. We should also try to share with others and help them get the get the things they need and you should and you can find that in Exodus chapter 20 verses verse 15 sorry um, number nine you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor reputation is important God asks us to speak up for everyone especially when others gossip I think gossip is talking about other things behind your back that's what I think it means we're always to speak the truth and assume the best and you can find that in Exodus chapter 20 verse 16 in your Bibles. Um, anyways, the final commandment of the bo of the Ten Commandments, number ten, you shall not covet what belongs to your neighbor. Coveting means being jealous of what others have instead of being happy for them and satisfied with what God has given us. And you can find that in Exodus twenty, chapter twenty, verse seventeen. Well, that was that was really nice. So give a big round of applause for those commandments. I should read those more. I need to. I should probably start following more of those commandments because, uh, yeah, like a few of them, like I'm probably not good at following. So, yeah, I should probably honor my father and mother more. Um, so, yeah, and you guys should always follow the commandments. Well, anyways, those are the commandments. And by the way, sorry about those interruptions. That was my friend Justin Fernandez. He... I probably should have texted him before I recorded this, but it's it's probably not anyone's fault. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will have Joel's holidays episodes in two or three weeks, probably three, because I'll probably rest uh, like two weeks when I'm back from my Wyoming. Um, and by the way, uh, I will be skipping chapters in the Bible, like for the millionth time. I've I I've said I like I want to have interesting chapters on this file that you will be interested to learn about so yeah well anyways the ten commandments are you shall have no other gods you shall not make for yourself any idols to worship and trust in other than god himself you shall not misuse the name of the lord your god remember the sabbath day by keeping it by keeping it holy honor your father and mother one of the probably I don't know, maybe the most important one. And number six, you shall not murder. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Uh, number eight, you shall not steal. Number nine, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. And number ten, you shall not covet what belongs to your to your neighbor. And these laws have not changed in uh in all the years that this has been, which which I'm glad about because. I would recommend all of you please follow the commandments because they're very good. And, um, yeah. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, and I'll be in Wyoming today. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, and I'll see you next time. Bye.